Hey guys, Curtis Stone here. I've got a recipe that I'm really excited to share with you. It's my sticky chicken drumsticks with long grain rice and bok choy. This delicious meal is so, so easy to make. So let's get started. You grab yourself a nice big bowl like this and to make the marinade for the chicken drumsticks, you use a couple of things. I'm starting with hoisin. Now I love hoisin because it's got that sort of beautiful combination of sweet and salty and two more ingredients a little bit of Aussie honey, so a couple of tablespoons of that, and then a little bit of soy sauce as well. Now garlic and ginger are essential flavors in Asian inspired marinades, so we're gonna add that to the marinade. And then just using a whisk, give that a bit of a mix together. I take a quarter of a cup of this marinade and I reserve it because I put that back on the chicken drumsticks right at the end of the cooking process. And then the rest of the marinade, we toss those chicken drumsticks through. So. Here we go, eight beautiful drumsticks, and in they go. And then just using a big spoon, you can just sort of toss those around and make sure that the marinade is really coating them nicely. Now, if you even just tossed it an hour before, you would still get a delicate, sort of subtle flavor, but the 10 or 12 hour marinade is gonna really let that marinade penetrate and give you a beautiful depth of flavor. So spread these out on your tray and try to make sure they're not piled up and then get all of that excess marinade out and onto the chicken. All right, so the chicken is marinated, ready to go. I'm gonna stick it in the oven. I've preset a rack in the center of the oven and you do that so the heat can sort of circulate around the chicken as it cooks, 220 Celsius or 200 if it's fan forced. Beautiful. So let's get started on the rice. This is a really simple technique. I've got a pan on the go over here. I take a couple of cups of water, so two cups of water, toss that in, season it with a bit of salt. Now I'm gonna let that come up to the boil and then I'm gonna add my rice. One little step that's important with your rice though is to give it a good rinse. So I'll give that a good rinse and then drain it really well. While that water's coming up to the boil, I'm gonna show you the veg, because it's really, really simple, and it's one of my favorites. Beautiful bok choy. It's this easy to do. You grab a pan, I've just cut that into quarters lengthwise, and then a little bit of oil, and some salt. And we're actually gonna bake this in the oven as well, so that way we're sort of doing it in the same oven that we're doing our chicken, and it's super simple. So the water's come to the boil and it's this simple. You lift your lid, you add your drained rice. I'm gonna reduce that heat to about a medium. Just give it a real quick stir. And then you pop your lid back on for about 20 minutes. The bok choy's been in for 15 minutes so it should be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead Get that beautiful bok choy out, and stick it straight onto my cutting board. And just really simply, with a knife, cut through it three or four times, just so they're nice sort of bite-sized pieces. And that's it, it's really, really that simple. So look at these guys. They're beautiful, golden in color. The reason I kept this little bit of sauce earlier was what I do now is just take a little pastry brush and I just go ahead and just finish them off with just that tiny bit more sauce. I tell you what, when you take these out of the oven, the smell fills the room and people will think you've been in the kitchen all day and it's really this simple. The chicken and bok choy are done, it smells sensational. So all that's left to do is to make it look pretty on the plate. And then with that last remaining bit of sauce, I actually just drizzle that over the top. One thing left to do, and that is our rice. You let it stand for 10 minutes. So I turned that off 10 minutes ago and it's now stood for just 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna pick it up and show it to you here. See how that steam is still just, that last bit of steam still absorbing into the rice. Um, what you do next is you fork it. So grab yourself a fork and you just let all of that steam sort of escape from the rice. Perfectly and fluffy, yum. And then we're just gonna get that, pile it nice and high in our bowl. And you have got a fantastic meal. Go on, enjoy my sticky chicken drumsticks.